Today we are starting the Virology Quick Revision series and this is the first lecture of Virology series. In this video we are going to talk about Morphology of Virus. Before we get started, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button, comment down in the comment section and please subscribe. So guys, without any further delay, let's begin with the right way and here you are go with MLT television. Properties of virus. Virus are the smallest obligate intracellular infective agents and they multiply by complex process and not by binary fission. Virus can be filterable and they have no metabolic activity outside the living cells. That clearly means that they depend on the host because of this reason. They do not grow on the artificial media and they contain only one type of nucleic acid as their genome, either DNA or RNA. Morphology of virus. So today we are discussing the size, shape, structure and susceptibility to physical and chemical agents in detail. Size. Virus are much smaller than other organisms like bacteria, fungi, etc. They are only seen by electron microscope and light microscope. The size of the virus range from 20 to 300 nanometer in diameter. The largest virus is smallpox virus and having a 300 nanometer. And the smallest virus is parvovirus. It has 20 nanometer in diameter. Shape. Overall shape of virus particle varies in different group. Most of the animal virus are spherical in shape. In case of pox virus, it is a brick shape, rabies virus bullet shape, Ebola virus filament shape, tobacco mosaic virus rod shape, rotavirus wheel shape, adenovirus space vehicle shape, and finally the astrovirus will have a star shape. Here are some virus shape in which we can see the bullet shaped rabies virus, filament shaped Ebola, wheel shaped rota and space vehicle shaped adenovirus. So next we are discussing the structure. Virus consists of a nucleic acid core surrounding by a protein coat is called capsid and the capsid is composed of a large number of protein subunits which are known as capsomas. Certain virus contain the envelope that surround the nucleic acid. The envelope is acquired by a progeny virus during the release of budding through the host cell membrane and the protein subunits are exposed as projectile spikes on the surface of the envelope. These structures are called peplomas. We can see all this clearly in the picture on the next page. So let's move to the next slide. Susceptibility to physical and chemical agents. Temperature, pH, lipid solvents, disinfectants, radiations and antibiotics. In case of temperature, most viruses are heat labile and are inactivated within seconds at 56 degrees Celsius, minutes at 37 degrees Celsius and days at 4 degrees Celsius. They are stable at low temperatures. For long term storage, they are kept frozen at minus 70 degrees Celsius. Another method for prolonged storage is lyophilization or freeze drying. It means drying the frozen virus under vacuum. pH Virus remain viable in a pH range of 5 to 9. Radiations Virus are inactivated by sunlight, ultraviolet rays and ionizing radiation. Disinfectants Most viruses are destroyed by oxidizing agents such as hydrogen peroxide, hypochloride and iodine compounds. However, most viruses are resistant to phenol. Chlorination of drinking water killed most viruses except the hepatitis A and polio virus. The very last one will be the formaldehyde. Lipid solvents Chloroform, ether and detergents destroy all enveloped virus which contain lipoprotein. Naked viruses are resistant to the agents. In case of antibiotics, antibiotics are completely ineffective against virus. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button and share this video to your friends. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.